the hidden treasure of the Grand Canyon. How did it vanish without a trace? A secret city near Grand Canyon in Arizona was discovered by G. E. Kincaid in 1909, and according to the research conducted by expedition leader Professor S. A. Jordan, the city was huge enough to accommodate approximately 50,000 people. Mysterious mummified remains of human bodies, possibly of Egyptian origin, were also discovered on the site. Various artifacts, including copper implements that were as strong as steel, were also found. It was stated by a Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C., that if the discovery of this secret city would not have been published in a local paper in the Arizona Gazette, April 5, 1909, with the title, Explorations in the Grand Canyon, it would have remained unknown to us, they said. The local newspaper, Arizona Gazette, asserted that the magnificent discovery is not only the oldest archaeological discovery in the United States, but one of the most valuable in the world. The newspaper described it as a vast underground city found within the Grand Canyon. It's been claimed by researcher and author John Rhodes, that he is the one who located the site and he also established a possible connection between the city, the secret city, and Sipapuni, the underground world where the Hopi Indians claim to have originated from. According to the legends, the Hopi Indians, the Native Americans, once existed within the earth and were fed and clothed by the ant people, possibly the extraterrestrials known as the Greys. The tribe used to refer to their ancestors as snake brothers and the most sacred underground rituals was the snake dance. G. E. Kincaid narrated to the Gazette how he discovered the secret city while traveling alone in a wooden boat down the Colorado River from Green River, Wyoming to Yuma looking for minerals. And the Arizona Gazette stated about 42 miles up from the El Tovar Crystal Canyon, probably around Marble Canyon, in the area of the present-day Navajo Indian Reservation, Kincaid noticed stains in the sedimentary formation about 2,000 feet above the riverbed. Facing great difficulties, Kincaid made his way to the canyon wall to arrive at a small cave, an opening which had steps leading downwards. He passed through the entrance and found a chamber about 300 feet, 100 meters away from the entrance that had a carved image of a cross-legged idol, which according to him resembled Lord Buddha and was probably of Tibetan origin. Walking forward along a 12 feet wide passageway, a crypt containing mummified remains and impact, intact mummies were discovered by him. Some of the artifacts had been shipped off to, the, to Washington, D.C., and that the Smithsonian Institute, under the direction of Professor S. A. Jordan, was carefully investigating the citadel, the discoveries almost conclusively proved that the race which inhabited this mysterious cavern was of Oriental origin, possibly from Egypt, tracing back to Ramesses. Now, yesterday I did post a video concerning the possibility of Chinese arriving to North America and South America, because they had a fleet of thousands of ships which were huge. Some of them were as huge as today's aircraft carriers, and they were supposed to uh, chart and find out the islands of the Pacific Ocean. And from there, they did uh, some, they could have arrived into the area of Mexico. And from there, up to North America, Georgia, and down to South America. Because they found a Chinese votive sword dating back to uh, 400 BC. So well, let's keep that in mind. Now concerning this, however, can this story be trusted? Are there any other existing evidence regarding the same? One more article in the same newspaper dated March 12, 1909 was also published relating to G.E. Kincaid. The article gave a brief description, description of Kincaid's trip down the Colorado and mentioned that some interesting archaeological discoveries had been made, or being made, he said. However, the story was not followed up by Arizona Gazette. There was complete silence on the subject until 1993. The article regarding the discovery of the subterranean city was rediscovered by Ancient Mysteries after David H. 
Hunches Childress, who published the article in the conspiracy magazine Nexus in 1993. In 2000, various researchers contacted the Smithsonian Institute in order to extract information on the subject, to which the Institute replied this. Over the years, the Institute had received many inquiries about the 1909 newspaper article, but that its Department of Anthropology could find no mention in its files of a Professor Jordan Kincaid or lost Egyptian civilization in Arizona. Researchers did turn up uh, mention of an archaeologist called Professor S.A. Jordan, spelled with an O, Jordan, and not an A, but apparently he was European and not American. However, it's believed by many researchers that this is proof that the entire discovery has been covered up. Researchers and scientists specifically drew attention to the many unexplored caves, tunnels, and holes in the canyon, and to the fact that the majority of the area where Kincaid allegedly made his discovery is now government property and is closed to the public. The hidden treasure of the Grand Canyon? Interestingly, the 400-foot Stanton Cave, upon being ex excavated, was found to contain thousands of ancient Indian artifacts and the remains of 10,000-year-old giant California condors. The archaeological and paleontological site has been listed on the National Register of Historic Places and holds great historic value. And along with many others, this cave has also been sealed from the public and has been strictly classified as government property, what could be the reason behind this? Another curious feature of the Grand Canyon, which appears to link to the 1909 newspaper story, is a wide variety of Oriental and Egyptian names given to many of its peaks and buttes, particularly in the area of Kincaid's strange caverns. Around 94 Mile Creek and Trinity Creek, there are names such as Isis Temple, Tower of Set, Tower of Ra, Horus Temple, Osiris Temple, while in the Haunted Canyon area, there are the Cheops Pyramid, the Buddha Cloister, Buddha Temple, Manu Temple, and Shiva Temple. Perhaps the mysterious origin of these names gives us clue to the location of King Cave's hidden treasures. Clarence E. Dutton, Captain of Ordnance in the U.S. Army, whose most important work, the Ter Tertiary History of the Grand Canyon District, appeared in 1882, Dutton noted similarities between the Grand Canyon peaks and other historical structures discovered by mankind and gave names to the Grand Canyon sites. The leftover sites were named by Francois Matthews, a government cartographer who in the spring of 1902 undertook the topographic mapping of the Grand Canyon for the U.S. Geological Survey. The question is, is the article anything other than a simple newspaper hoax? The photographs of the caverns and discovered artifacts taken allegedly by Kincaid have never been seen by anybody. Another problem is the lack of documentary evidence to back up the existence of either G.E. Kincaid or Professor S.A. Jordan. And according to conspiracy theorists, the Smithsonian Institute went so far as to destroy artifacts to maintain this historical viewpoint. Espousers of this theory mention man-made mounds with plaster walls strewn across the American Midwest and a series of fire-hewn coffins found in Alabama in 1892 that were turned over the Smithsonian Institute only to be lost in the years following. Kincaid and Jordan returned without artifacts or pictures of the findings, leaving the Arizona Gazette article as the sole evidence of the expedition. So is the government really hiding something from us or is it just a hoax? Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. This is by Ashri Vastava, Infinity Explorers. Thank you. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.